Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be continuing with this page from Rita Berman in our colour along. And I think we're going to start today with these leaves on the bottom of the um, hot air balloon. So I'll go ahead and zoom you in and then we'll get started. So the first colour that I'm going to go in with is Fruit Punch. Um, I thought we'd make these leaves sort of like a different colour rather than them just being all sort of green. I thought we'd mix it up a bit and do some different coloured leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a bit of a base coat just in the middle of this leaf. So I'm going to do the same for this one as well. So I'm just using light pressure here and just getting a little bit of colour down in the middle. Next, taking fuchsia, I'm going to go ahead and darken up the outer edges of these leaves. So again, I'm just going to go in with lighter pressure and just sort of outline where we want the colour to be. So I'm going to focus this on the edges and then bring it in towards the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and try and darken this up a little bit around the edges. So just a bit more pressure around the edges. And then I'm gonna sort of lift the pressure, but take the color over where we left the lighter pink. Then going back in with Fruit Punch, I'm gonna go over the middle section um, with normal pressure and blend this over the fuchsia as well. And it's not really looking very different, so I'm going to try a darker colour. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Eggplant Purple and I'm going to go over where we've put the fuchsia and just darken this up a little bit because it's a bit too similar with it just being with the pinks. So I'm just going to start to lift the pressure now and take this over the lighter pink again. And then going back in with Fruit Punch, I'm just going to go over all of that. Okay, and I think that looks a bit better, so I'm going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to take Eggplant Purple again, and I'm going to fill in this little bottom edge here. A bit darker. And I'm going to fill in the top edge here darker as well. And then I'm going to use a Fruit Punch to fill in the middle. So I'm going to go back in with eggplant and I'm going to go around the edges of these flowers. So next take in fruit punch, I'm going to go ahead and go over this and blend it all together. Okay, I'm quite happy with how that's looking, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the rest of these flowers.
And then for these side edges, I'm gonna fill in the tops and the bottoms again, like we did for the last one. So just normal pressure and just fill in the tops and the bottoms and just leave a little gap in the middle. And then going back in with fruit punch, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the gaps and just go over where we've left the lighter patches. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for this one. So I'm just going to put the lighter pink in the middle. And then use eggplant to go round and darken the edges. And then just sort of lift the pressure. Do a little bit of blending and a bit on the top and bottom edge of the back part of the leaf. I'll just fill that in and go over that. Okay, so next we're going to move on to this bunting that goes around the balloon. So for this I've chosen shamrock green for our first colour because um, I wanted it to sort of match the tops of these houses that we've done in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start to fill in the bottom half of the bunting. So I'm just going to use light pressure and just get some colour down so that we can see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to take that up to about where the line starts and then I'm going to go in with deep teal which is a darker colour and I'm going to use this for this edge here. So I'm going to start to put some colour down and I'm just going to use normal pressure for this because I want to get a really dark colour so that we can see how it looks. So I'm going to start to take this down and into the shamrock green. So I'm just lifting the pressure here as I come down this colour so that you're still getting a little bit of colour but it's not as dark as it was. So then I'm going to take shamrock green again and just start to darken up the bottom edge. So you just want to use a bit more pressure here and just start to bring this colour up and over where we've just put the teal colour. And it should blend together quite nicely because it's quite a similar colour. If you find it's not dark enough, you can add some more teal. If you think it's too light, you can add some more shamrock. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more deep teal to this because I think this bit here needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm just using light pressure again and just sort of re-going over this and just darkening it up a tiny little bit. So I think for the edges, we'll make them darker because they would be I'm assuming a little bit darker so I'm going to go ahead with the deep teal and just fill in the edges completely okay so I'm going to carry on doing this for the rest of these so we'll move you along as we go so I think what I'm going to do first is just go in with a base coat of shamrock first Okay, so going back in with deep teal. Thank you. 
Okay, so next going in with Shamrock Green, we're going to go over where we left the lighter shade and just blend this all together. And then taking deep teal again, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in these little side edges. Next, taking amethyst purple, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little bit of a a ribbon that's attached to it so that it matches the nighttime sky. So I'm just going to go ahead and start here and just follow this down and just fill it in completely because I wanted to make this sort of look like it matches the inside of the balloon as well. So I'll do them the same as what I've done up here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this sort of little ribbon in with the amethyst. And then taking shamrock green, I'm going to do the same as what I did for them once. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on these. And then going back in with deep teal, I'm going to add the shade. Going back in with shamrock green, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in and blend it all together. Okay, and I think we're going to stick with the amethyst to fill in the ribbons here. So amethyst purple. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle where the lights catch in. So for the smaller ones, I'll probably just fill them in, but for like these bigger ones, I'll fill in this little bottom edge here. And the top edge. And then just lift the pressure a little bit and we'll fill the middle bit in with a lighter color. So I'll do the same for this one, just do the top and the bottom edge. This one is quite small, so I'm just going to fill this one in completely. And I'll do the same for this one. Then taking lilac, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the bits that we left. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so for this fabric that's sort of around the edge of the balloon, I think we're going to do that the same. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go in with lilac first and I'm going to add where we want the light parts to be. So I think I'm going to add the lighter part here in the middle. So I'm just using light pressure here and just getting some of this colour down. I'll take it towards the edges as well. And then for the back bit, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to have the lighter colour in about these sections. Next, going back in with amethyst purple, I'm going to go ahead and start darkening the edges and bring in this colour in towards the lilac. So I'm just going to start here and use like normal pressure at the edge. And then as I come into this, I'm going to lift the pressure off the paper. Just fill these little bits in, in between. I'm just going to drag this colour all the way along the bottom, but again, just using light pressure because I don't want it to look too dark. And then I'll just use normal pressure here to fill in this edge. And again, start to lift the pressure when you meet with the lighter colour. And then for the back, I'll go ahead and fill that in and just take it over where we've put the lighter colour. I'll do the same for this side. Then going back in with lilac, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. So I'm just going to go completely over where we've put the darker colours. And just blend everything together. And I'll do the same for this back part. Okay, so I want to bring a bit more pink into this bottom bit here. So I'm going to go in with Flamingo Pink. And I'm going to use this to go down these lines that are coming down the side here. Next, taking Fuchsia, I'm going to go ahead and make a start on filling these in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in right up against the top edge and then just leave a little bit of white in the bottom. So I'll do the same for these ones. And then taking eggplant purple, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these little dots here that are holding the strings onto the little basket. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Posca pen and I'm just going to add a couple of little highlights to this. So for this flag up here, I'm just going to add some dots. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to add some little white dots on the ends of these flags so that it looks like there's just a little bit more light catching on them. So I'm literally just doing two dots on the very ends of the flags where we left the light apart. 
For these leaves, I'm going to add some highlight where we left the lighter pink. So I'm just going to do a couple of dots. I don't want it to be, you know, too much. So just a little couple of dots coming down into the middle. And then I'm just going to add a little tiny highlight where we left the light pink on the edges. Okay, so I'm going to make a start on these flowers. They look quite similar to these ones, so I'm going to do them in similar colours. The ones that are different, I'm going to do in different colours. So I'm going to go in with Fruit Punch and I'm going to do the base coat in the middle of the flowers that we want to do, pink and purple. Okay, so next taking Eggplant Purple, I'm going to go around the edges like we did for the other ones and start to fill this in. And then going back in with Fruit Punch, I'm going to fill them in. Then taking Eggplant Purple again, I'm just going to do the tops and bottoms of these like we did for these ones. And then just going back in with Fruit Punch to fill them in. And I think we'll stick to the pink theme for the leaves. So I'm going to go in with Pink Macaroon, which is like the lighter shade of pink that we've got. And I'm going to do a base coat on this leaf here and I'm also going to do one on this one down here so I'm just using normal pressure for this and then taking peony pink which is slightly darker I'm going to add some shade into this so I'm going to go around the middle line and then just do a tiny bit up the edges. For this one, I'm just gonna go around the edges. So next take in Pink Flamingo. I'm gonna use this to fill in this half of this leaf. And then taking Fuchsia, I'm going to do every other one on these. Oops. 
and then taking lilac, I'm going to fill in the opposite line. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do like a light to dark. So I'm going to start with pink macaroon and I'm going to fill in the bottom piece here of this leaf. And then just lift the pressure. Then I'm going to take peony pink 401 and I'm going to do the same. So just fill in a little bit with this and just use sort of light pressure when you go over the pink macaroon and then lift the pressure as you come away. Then I'm going to go in with Flamingo Pink and I'm going to do the same again. So go over a little bit of the last colour and bring that up and lift the pressure off as you come up. And then the last colour I'm going to use is Fruit Punch. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the last bit with the fruit punch. And if you want a little bit more colour, you can just go back over the colours that you've just done. Just blend them all together a little bit better. So you're just doing the same here, but sort of like going backwards and then pink macaroon. Okay, so for these two, this one and this one, I'm going to use lilac and I'm going to do a base coat on them. And then take in Fuchsia 404 I'm going to go in and what I'm going to do is just go around the very edges so we should be left with a little bit of purple in the middle Some of them are probably going to be too small so you might just have to fill them in completely and then going back in with lilac i'm just going to go over and darken up the little middle bits where we left the purple and i'm going to do the same for this one so this first one's probably too little so i'll just fill that all in and then you can just go around the edges And then back in with the lilac and just fill in these middle pieces. And then going back in with my Posca pen, I'm going to do the same sort of dots that we did on these ones for these um, matching flowers. So just a couple of dots up the middle stem. For this one I'm going to add like a highlight along here where we've left the lighter colour and I'll put a little highlight in there and in that bit there and we'll do the same for this one. These ones I'm just going to do a couple of little dots in the middle where we left the lilac. And then for our rainbow one, I'm just going to go over the little black dots that we has left on there. Next going in with lemon yellow, we're going to go ahead and start filling in these stars in the background. 
So I'm just going to use this and fill them in completely. And then these little triangles that she's done down here, I'm going to fill these in with the yellow as well. Then going back in with fuchsia, we're going to start filling in some of these little trees. So like these little balls on the tree, I'm going to do in fuchsia. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and fill these in completely. So I wanted to have some of the same colours that we've used on the top, down here in the bottom. And then for the tree itself, I'm going to fill it in with apple green. So it's a nice bright green colour. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that there for this time and uh, I hope you enjoyed part three and I will see you in part four on next Sunday. See you guys.